Good evening, and it's Culture Night. My name is Kira Horn, and I'll be hosting this great night of culture in the Gory School of Art. We have singing, we have music, we have poetry, interviews, and even a bit of comedy. So let's get down to it and begin our Culture Night radio show. First with us in the studio tonight, we have Rachel Nialon from the Kyo McCree Singing Club. Welcome, Rachel. It's great to have you with us. Hi, Kira. It's great to be here. It's great. Now, Rachel, can you tell us a bit about Kyo McCree? Yeah, Kill McCree Singing Club is a traditional singing club for primary school children and we run it in three of the schools here in Gorey as an after-school activity. Uh, we're there on Tuesdays in Gwail School, Mahi Log, and we're in Manaseed on Thursdays and on Wednesday we're in Ballythamas School, National School. So it's really for traditional singing for primary school children. We cover all sorts of repertoire from English songs to folk songs and um, Shanos, Osgoelga. Songs, so it's it's great for the children to engage with the tradition. Yeah, and how can people get in touch with you if they're um, interested? We have a Facebook page, the Kiel McCree Facebook page, and they can also follow us on Twitter, um, and email me at kielmcree at gmail dot com, um, and everyone's welcome to get involved. That's great, Rachel. That, so that's kielmcree at gmail dot com, com, and there's right. a Facebook page, everyone. So, Rachel, it's been a pleasure to have you with us this evening, Thank and you now we're going to listen to some of your wonderful. Sh- students showcasing your fabulous work. Great, thank you. <laughs> beautiful singing we had there from Jenna Cullen, the current Wexford Chanos 2017 champion. We can all see why she's a champion. And following Jenna, we're going to have a little bit more music now. We're going to have the very talented Erin Eilon and Cullen O'Fuelon. They'll be on the fiddle and tim whistle with a bit of singing thrown in. So let's have a listen to these two talented children. When night stood at sea and the fire brought a crowd in, they say that her beauty was music in them, and few in the candlelight thought her too proud, for the house of the planter was known by the trees. And men that had seen her drank deep and were silent. The women were speaking wherever she went, like a bell that is rung or a wonder told shyly. And oh, she was the Sunday in every week.
That was Erin Yalon and Cullen of Waylon. What an array of talent we have on the show tonight. Speaking of talent, next up we have Nora Clifford Kelly, the author of A Gift of Love. Nora, welcome to the studio. It's wonderful to have you with us. Thank you very much. It's lovely to be here, Kira. Well, Nora, you're, this is your second book. That's right. Uh, what was your first book called? Uh, Open to Love was the name of the first book, and this one then is A Gift of Love. And I believe you have another book coming up this year. I have, that's right. It's called Divine Love. It'll be the third in the trilogy. Oh, that's excellent, Nora. And tell us a little bit about your, what you do. Uh, well, my background, I, I was raised in a little organic farm in Kerry and uh, very appreciative of nature. But I now live here in the beautiful county Wexford and it has inspired my poetry enormously. So I write a meditational poetry to um, relax uh, people and just send them off into a blissful meditation. Very good. The sunny southeast, you can't beat it, can you, Nora? <laughs> no, you can't. And Nora, your website is nora.cliffordkelly.com. That's right. So if people like, wanted to see some poetry there, I'm reading some poems on that. Excellent. Well, Nora, we'd like to hear some of your wonderful poetry, so we'd be delighted if you could read from, from your book. A, that's a gift of love. That's right. Thank you very much. Um, the one I've chosen this evening to read is called Ancient Woods, and I hope you'll enjoy it. Just stroll down to the ancient wood. View the meandering, murmuring brook. Hear the song of the whispering trees thrumming on silent, communing breeze. Just stray on to the path of love. Gaze on wild flowers. Hear the dove. Fingertip the water of the sacred spring. Center in silence in the holy ring. Feel the energy of the stones, their familiar solidity in your bones. Reconnect to the ancient lore. Retrieve life's wisdom from before. Stay still in silence. Hear the hush from Aeon's back. Shh, just shush. We've, we've had some great talent on the show tonight, and up next we have some, a little bit of information from Creva Crean and Emma Walsh. They're both students at the Gorey Community School, and they're going to talk to us a little bit about Culture Night. Hello, my name is Creva Crean, and today I will be interviewing Emma Walsh. Hello, Emma. How did you find out about this radio workshop for Culture Night? I heard about this radio workshop from my senior branch leader, Eleanor Wafer. Can you explain about what a senior branch? Many people think that you can only be a member of senior branch if you have been going since you are small. That's not true. You can jump in and get involved in any age. There's a way for everyone to belong and take part, even if you're busy doing lots of activities. My senior branch unit at Seashell Senior Branch is in Ballygard and we have weekly meetings on, every, on a Wednesday evening at 7 to half 8. We are looking for new leaders to help out with Seashell Girl Guides. If you are interested, please contact Una for more information. That is very interesting, Emma, and thank you for sharing that with us. So, back to Culture Night. What do you think, in your own opinion, about Culture Night? I think Culture Night is very interesting, and there are lots of free workshops going all around the country. Wow, Emma, that is very fascinating. So, when did Culture Night begin? Culture Night began in Dublin in 2005. It is a mixture of Irish culture celebrated in one night. Thank you, Emma, for coming on to the show tonight. It has been a pleasure. Thank you for having me on the show. And that is all we have time for tonight. It has been very interesting talking to you, Emma, and I hope you get some new members and leaders for Seashell Senior Branch and Go Goods. Wasn't that great? And now we're going to follow the girls up with a bit of laughter from Jared and Adam. They have their own unique style, so let's go straight to them. What is up, Gory Arts Alert Nation? I'm your host, Jared Mozararis. And now in studio we have Introduce Yourself. Introduce Yourself? That's not my name. My name is Adam Rooney. <laughs> Even so... It's an honor to have you in studio. It's an honor to be here. I have some questions set up. Shoot away. What is your favorite piece of animation? I'm going to have to go with Dora the Explorer. Mine is Shrek. Speaking of Shrek, what is your, fa what is your favorite song from, from the soundtrack? 
I like All Star by Smash Mouth. It really shows the developments and hardships Shrek and Donkey's relationship goes through. The hell I'm back. Just like the, all the backyardigans. You are very right, my friend. To, f to change the subject, what is your favorite rapper? Biggie Cheese. Oh, right. Mine is Nick Crompton. And your favorite fruit? Apples. That's basic. Why not pomegranates? Those are my favorites. Well, I gotta go fast, so I better jet set run. See ya, Adam. Well, we definitely have a couple of comedians there. I think we need a bit of calm after that one. So let's have a listen to some more great music. First we have Quiva Radford on the accordion, and then we'll have a little bit of poetry for you. Slow on the mic, which is Farewell to the River, with Breedney Cleric. Is caid on Dev Sha Uim, Koshmoi na Gwer na Grave na Gruok, Nestoit na Shed na Ser na Slua, na Nan na Nreacht na Drain gan Gruam. Agus O Kon is Broita Misha, Gan Quid gan Koir gan Koip gan Kishta, Gan Sult gan Shod gan Sport gan Spina. O Sholok me con Uignish. Slan ga heag da oser ir suark, da dav da clair da heagshis da sua, gan car da clav, gan clan, gan cluan, gan coim, gan coin, gan cres, gan cruas. Agus o o con is broi to misha, gan quid, gan coir, gan coip, gan kishta, gan sult, gan shod. Gan sport, gan spina, o sholuk me con uignish. Slan da nesh da mehavuim, da goil da gael da skev da snua, da managaler da game da gurd, da brosk da blade da main da mua. Agus o o con is broit misha. Gan quid, gan coir, gan coip, gan kishta, gan sult, gan shod, gan sport, gan spina, o sholuk me con uignish. Is fawn nuk fwean me, is freak for fur, is tavlag tre, is trem nuk trua, i mar an tleva, gan ean manur, i mark ak freak, is gwe a duig. Agus o con is broit a misha, gan quid gan coir, gan coip gan kishta, gan sult, gan shod, gan sport, gan spina, o sholuk me con uignish. 
And in the studio tonight with us, we have Colin Brennan. Welcome, Colin, to Culture Night in the Gory School of Art. Thank you. Delighted to be here. Well, Colin, in your day job, you're a sculptor, and I've had a fascinating conversation with you. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about Chino's workshops and your singing. And I would like you to explain to our audience tonight what is what it is. What is Chino's singing? Good question. First of all, the term Chino simply means old style. So it's it's a style of singing that's that's been that's existed in Ireland for many many years, if in fact many centuries. The the experts when they're asked where did it come from say it came to Ireland with the monks and we know the monks came from North Africa so already we can see the link perhaps with, with, with the North African music and, and uh, Irish Shano Singh and by the way it has nothing to do with, with classical music in Ireland. Or but a lot of people problem. would think it would be, it would be due to traditional music. Oh traditional music definitely, in fact traditional music uh, generally would, 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 would would say that our traditional musicians would say that that Shannon's singing is the is the the uh, the heart of it, that's that the source of it. Most Shannon's uh, sl- or most slow airs that musicians play will have come from Shannon's songs. And um, what about your voice? Because if you have to sing, do you not need a good voice? Um, I just the the way I would answer that is everyone everyone who can speak can sing. Uh, you do not need a good voice uh, for Shano singing. Uh, everyone can sing. Uh, some people are told they can't, but uh, the emphasis is on the song, not the voice, uh, and the passion of the song. So we're going back to foundations, to our roots of everything here with Shano singing. Very much so, yes. But they're sad songs, aren't they? There are sad songs, uh, definitely, but uh, there are glad songs, there are songs about war, there are songs about peace, there are songs about love, there are um, songs about uh, drinking, there are uh, every, every aspect of life, but, but, but the passionate aspects of life are, are what Shannon's songs are about. But then we have the other question now, Colin, what about the Irish? How many people will say, I'm not going there, I can't speak Irish? Um, good question. Again, um, last year I had two young Germans attending, attended the, the workshops in the library in, in, in Gori. Uh, they were in their early 20s, both of them, young man, young woman. Uh, obviously they didn't have a word of Irish coming in, but they had, they had an open attitude and, and an enthusiastic attitude, and that's all you need. If, if, you, if you come there saying, oh I hate Irish and Irish is very dreary, you'd be better off staying at home. But if, you're, if you have an open mind, come along, you will enjoy it and it's been proved internationally that the best way to acquire a language is through learning songs. So p- apart from learning songs you'll learn, you learn th- or you'll improve your language as well. Well Colm you might have a convert in me so every Tuesday night in the Gory Library at what time? Seven o'clock every Tuesday night S- and uh, we'll have a cup of tea halfway through. In oh, fact, that sounds good. Some people say it's a tea-making class with a small break for singing, but that's not true. I like yeah. the sound of that. Yeah. Well, Colin, will you sing us out with the lovely Chanel song for us? I'd be delighted. And, and the, the song I'm, I'm, I'm going to sing, it's an anti-war song. It's jolly. Uh, very often a lot of the Irish anti-war songs makes you make use of humour to get the point across. But it's still deadly serious anti-war song. Well, it's called Avic Machri. Well, we'll leave it with you, Colm. Ah, Avic Machri, Ars and Sergeant Cree. Ah, on while at go on Adam, no in a decree. On while at go har farigan own. Can in Wachche, a canoffic a goon let you to Raya. Father did la to Raya, who Raya, you Raya. When you take the stall, like a sweet heart, soul, be you want me to come for the kind of tourish girl. Ah, me man, or honey, clung through a hill. Go conquer, key, like a tiger, board, like a touraya. Well, the little la, touraya, or I, or I, ah. Oh, the lick she baked, or a honey, she ate, or a tight buck, buck, like a strong cush way. Wish a tiger own, when an aim at foot. Had a ton of money, you'll and two talk good, let's you two raya. 
fal da dee la to hooray a hooray a hooray a how were you drunk or were you blind when you left your two fine legs behind or was it from walking on the sea that you wore your legs from the knees away with your two ray a fal da dee la to hooray a hooray a hooray a it's been a great night, but now it's goodbye for me, Kira Horan. I want to thank everyone who tuned in tonight and all of those who took part in Culture Night. I'd like to thank our wonderful crew, Quiva Crean, Emma Walsh, Jared Moserara, Saddam Rooney, Sean Dixon, Nora Clifford Kelly, Tony McGuinness and Maita Gonzalez. So, goodbye and good night. <laughs>